this happens. This shouldn't be interesting. I'm such a fantastic actor. Shane Coleman is making his return to the UFC. He's been gone for more than a year. He's down from 185. 185, he wishes. <laughs> <laughs> So here with John Jones and we're on the set of the Bud Light commercial that we're shooting right now. You know what? I'm rooting for Matt Hamill, but I think Rampage is going to win the fight. Um, but, you know, I never, I never go past wrestling, so you, you never know. Matt, if Matt Hamill get him on the ground, you know, Smothers from there, you know, everybody knows Rampage is the, the best grappler. So, cheering for Matt Hamill, but Rampage should probably win. Frank Mir, big country. Frank Mir. Frank Mir? Frank Mir, yeah. He, by I mean, what? Submission? Um, not by submission. Probably by knockout or just really? decision. Yeah, I mean... Uh, Frank Mir throws high kicks, and uh, Big Country doesn't kick it off, so I think uh, Mir has some more tools in his toolbox to come out of town. There you go. You heard it from the champ here on the set of his first Bud Light commercial. Ow. Thank you. Thank you. Well, my, son, my son takes Muay Thai, so we came out to Bud oh. Chicago. Yeah, yeah, I'm going there, yeah, yeah. Very good. It's good, it's it's good. Oh, yeah. Place yeah, but the place there, we opened at uh, 5, so I just flew, I did all my paper, and I'm very hungry, you know. Awesome. I haven't ate, you know, for a long time, so I'm getting to eat. Tear it up, baby. Very good. Welcome, man. Welcome back, I should say. Yep, good. No one ever thought they'd see that again. Exactly. 
good. I'm sorry that the mic was sucked. I knew it was a I want to fly like August, September. I got one more appointment with another another doctor to see what they can do to help me get a little bit better. But yeah. I'm focusing on getting all the value from it. I just want to thank you very much. I'm so glad to be back. Man. I'm pleasure to fight about now. I'm doing it. I'm about the future, man. It's awesome. We're doing something really, really huge. Exactly. This is it. That's why I always like to tell you right now. This is fucking good. How you doing? Yes, sir. Welcome to Vegas. Thanks, man. Did you already do your pictures and all? Yeah, I just, I just finished out. Came in and went straight there. Yeah, it was actually nice, man. Uh, I like the new workout gear you guys came out with. Oh, I can't wait to get some. Yeah. I saw it at the at the Magic Show, mm -hmm. but they say they're going to launch it like in August. Are they going to send us a little bit in a few? Yeah. Because I would love to train it. How you been? Yeah, yeah, Everything's good? Oh, perfect. I, I was bad for one week. I'm scared, man. Feeling good now? Perfect. I train hard, but... So excited, man. So excited for, for August 6th. Thank awesome. you, man. No, thank you. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Let's do it. Hey, 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 you said hey, hey, tell him we accept the challenge. <laughs> we accept the challenge. 100%. <laughs> you want to spar with him? Muay Thai? No, no, no. We accept the challenge. Lorenzo would love to take it. And then he said, we'll do Muay Thai with Lorenzo and we'll box with Dana. No, no, no. He wants it. Muay Thai. That was it. And all, every one of the police officers came up to me and said, your guys are the best athletes I've ever met. E every guy was cool and, er you know, that's what separates us from all the others. It really does. I, I was telling him, and I tell this story all the time, I was watching the playoffs. The Lakers, they fucking won the game. Uh, one of the playoff games. And they showed them walking out the tunnel, going back into the locker rooms. All these fucking little kids have their hands hanging over the... Didn't fucking touch one wow, hand. Not even like high five. Not even a high five. Yeah. Didn't really even bad. touch one little kid's fucking hand. Imagine being a little kid and you're so excited. He's exactly. right there. Yeah, and the guy looks the last ten years. He's exactly. been dying for attention for the last ten years. Exactly. You know, it's it's it's. Sure sign of a good time. I saw it today. Here we go. I saw the commercial today. <laughs> That's awesome. They sent it to me. Yeah. Hey, uh, not to interrupt you guys, but I'm not gonna get surgery. I know. Yeah. I know yeah, they called me yeah, today. She was like, they were like, we'll be doing you more damage to, to cut you open. No, I love that. Sweet, man. Congratulations. So they want me to put this on, make sure I don't mess with it for a whole month, and then after that, they said, get right back to it. So they gave me these uh, these therapy tools to, to strengthen my hand in the meanwhile. So it was awesome. Very cool. Who knows? Here we go. Here we go. All right, cool. Now you got it. Right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> now you got yeah, it. It's solid. You can feel the abs. You Take a picture of them at the belly. Yeah. You could be, you could be probably 220, 225. You have 5% body fat, walking around like this. You could be 255 if you lost the mullet. <laughs> Correlation. To me, it's like, look, if I, can, I can do this with a gi on. Can't do that. How do you hold someone's head down with a gi? Well, yeah, like my favorite guard in the gi is a spider guard. Yeah, right. There's no way in hell you can even do it. No. So it's, it's a different animal. Even if it's only 10% different. And then, like, that's where I like to try to, you got to still have your underhooks or, you know, instead of using the lapel, you got to have an underhook. You know, train. Well, you just got to train both if you want to do it. Like, to me, yeah. it's like, okay, when I put the gi on, I'll be a gi guy. I'll hold fucking pants, okay. legs like this. Mr. Mayor. Hey. What's up, boss? Great to see you. Good to see you. Mr. Rambe. Frank, you're second. Who is Rambe? Oh. Um, I know you're both from here. Were you born and raised here too? Yeah, I was born here. You were born here too? Wow, that's gotta be very rare. Oh, they told me you didn't get to a three. You were born here too? No, it's over. Oh, no shit? I was born in a woman's hospital. I know exactly where that's Yeah, it was gone now. That's it. Yeah. Sahara and uh, Burma? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. This could be a first, right? Two guys, so you guys actually years. born in Vegas? Yeah. yeah. Well, my mom was even born here. So like, really? Oh, you got me beat. My mom didn't come over since she was five. This is born and raised. This is what she asked for. Jared? Roy. Yeah, they call it the bar bar. They be born the and raised bar. Oh, so really? like a local Vegas thing. The guys went to Cimarron, I think they're telling me. Bar bar. Killed that Craig Ferguson, man. That's oh, cool. thanks, man. Really man. funny. Yeah. I'd stay up late to watch it. Oh, yeah, I know. That's so late. That's so late. I'm going to have to record them. Because um, the guy's really funny, man. You really looks really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's cool. We sit in a restaurant like, oh shit. <laughs>
Corey Booker Fong. Right now, it's crazy. Yeah, cool. They can look to find your movie, man. It's crazy. Okay, okay, guys, let's go. Let's go.